Hey guys, what's up? It's Meredith, long time no see. It, it's been a minute. I know I said this in my last video, but I decided this year for the holidays, it was really important for me to focus on my family and not have my focus be on filming and editing and just YouTube stuff. So I, yeah, I took some time off for Christmas and it is now December 30th when I'm filming this. By the time you watch it, it'll probably be 2023. So happy new year. And um, with that, I just thought I would share some thoughts I've had because even though I haven't been filming, I've still been thinking about you guys and thinking about my YouTube channel and what, I don't know, what I want to do for 2023. I just feel like I need to change something up. I want something new, something fresh for my channel. With all that being said, I thought, um, yeah, I would share my ideas with you today. It's just going to be a real quick video, but I just wanted to say, hey, and say that I miss you guys and that I'm still here and 2023 is going to be awesome. So I have two new ideas for my YouTube channel and I thought I would share those two ideas today. I also just want to say that I sound a little bit raspy congested because I am um, I'm getting over a little cold I feel totally fine um, it's just taken a minute for me to recover because like I've said before my immune system is it kind of sucks from my cancer treatment so um, what took my kids like a couple days to get over this like snotty nose it's taking me a lot longer but I feel fine um, I'm out here at the trail to go for a run, but that's another story for another day. But before I go run, I just wanted to share these two ideas for you and I want to hear your thoughts on them below. So here we go. I want to preface my first idea with just saying that my cancer journey has taught me a lot and it's brought with it this like really intense FOMO that I get. And I think I've shared that with you guys before. I never want to be in that position that I was when I received my phone call um, or received my stage four cancer diagnosis and think like, oh, I wish I would have taken time to do this. Oh, I wish I would have done that. I, I don't have like, am I going to have enough time to do this, that, and the other? I'm a little bit extreme about it, but like, I am so afraid of missing out on like opportunities and memories and things that I want to do. Um, just because I like didn't take the time to do it. So with that being said, my first idea for my channel for the new year is, and kind of just a goal for myself, but I'll share it with you guys along the way is, I want to try new things. Specifically, I am making it a goal for myself to try one new thing every single month. I'm starting it off at the end of January. We're going up north to see Nick's sister and I am going to be snowboarding for the first time. Nick's a snowboarder. I've never done any sort of snow, like winter sport. <laughs> um, I've never skied. I've never done anything, but, um, Cove and I are going to learn together. And also how fun is it to learn something new along with your kid? Cause kids learn new things all the time and adults do new things very rarely. We find comfort in doing what we know how to do and, um, what feels safe but I want to do new things and I'm going to learn to snowboard with him. So stay tuned for that video. We're doing that at the end of January. I have lots of other ideas of things that I want to do in 2023, new things I want to try. Also, if you have any recommendations of things you'd like to see me try, um, put them in the comments below. I am 
I don't know. I won't necessarily say yes to everything, but I am open to suggestions. So give me, give me your ideas. I'm ready for them. So that's my first idea. Secondly, I want to do a new segment on my channel sharing sharing thoughts and moments from the trail because I get the most like biggest most biggest I get the biggest epiphanies and these moments of like reflection and um these like ideas come to me. I don't know. I'm just so connected with like my deepest thoughts when I'm trail running by myself. And I would love to record those, not just for you guys, because a lot of it I feel like is beneficial for anyone. It's like motivational type things. And like, like I said, epiphanies, but, um, also for myself, because I have these moments and thoughts on the trail that seem like such a big, things like and then the next day I will have like completely forgotten what I thought about the day before on the trail so I'm doing it for everyone for myself included to be able to watch these videos and be like oh yeah like that's that's a good point I don't know I don't know what I'm talking about but anyways so trying new things coming up 2023 <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid <laughs> But it should be fun. Do things that you're afraid to do, right? Like, do big things. Do scary things. That's what life's about, right? Like, I don't want to live a boring life. I want to get to the end of my life and be able to say, like, I did, I lived my life to the fullest. Like, I did not leave any stone unturned. So, we're doing it. Um, and then the other idea, other segment coming up on my channel in 2023 is thoughts from the trail. They might be stupid. They might be insignificant to you, but I'm excited about it. I'm excited to share them with you. And with that being said, I am going to head out for my trail run now and stop talking. Um, because yeah, I just need to get this done. Um, I had treatment Tuesday. I'm extremely tired, but like I need to like push through um, yeah. So I will see you guys in 2023. Happy new year. Thanks for watching. If you are excited about the new things coming to my channel in 2023, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. Turn on your notification bell so you don't miss when I post a new video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Love you. Have it done the YouTube thing in so long. I don't even know how to do it. It seems like a foreign thing to me. I felt a small lump in my side. My life changed at that at that moment. This cannot be happening again. Something that I have been up to recently while undergoing my cancer treatment. Training for a 10K trail race. I'm out here, I'm doing it. I'm not gonna let the side effects from my treatment deter me from preparing for my race this weekend or reaching my goals. I am I experiencing 
these side effects when most people don't. Do you know how far mommy's gonna run? So far. So far? What have I got myself into? <laughs> I feel pretty weak um, in this moment right now. I can look down that hill and see what I just climbed up when I didn't even want to take the first step. constant and more severe. I have made it two weeks since starting my plant-based diet. It's okay. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. They decided to hold off on treatment today based on the severity of my side effects. I'm just kind of at a loss right now. We're going to buy the camper today. My doctor, I'm really happy to say, uh, gave me the all clear to continue my treatment. So I had my treatment today. running and I'm starting to feel like my normal self again. I cannot say yet that I'm cancer free, um, but I've made it into my 30s and I'm just excited for life.